Paxos you found. They were not pleasant. But they did have access codes and geological data about minerals. Not a thrilling read, but the descrambled codes might open up some doors. I'll send them to you. Duh. <laughs> Hi. You look beast off. Lord. Hello, Guardian. Fail safe asked that I take over briefing duties while she works on her research. Okay. We were speaking earlier. She had disengaged her filter, so she used her uh, rain cloud voice. <laughs> and she asked how it felt when I took the memories of the other saint. I told her it was like becoming more myself. That saint and me, we are the same. But there was one important difference. You, guardian. The other saint, he died alone. But I met you after Osiris sent you to find me. You gave me hope in my darkest time. I fought to live up to your example. That is how I survived. And slowly I found I was no longer living for you. You were good to have around, do not misunderstand, but... Uh, I was leaving for me. I told this to Failsafe, and she was quiet for a long time. Then she said she had to feed her frog, and I left. But I mm -hmm. think it was a good talk. <laughs> no. Listen, Guardian. I was thinking hard about how to beat the Conductor, and Osiris stopped me. He said the Conductor is very strong, and has abilities we cannot stand against. But, he said, maybe we can beat Maya Sandresh. Osiris told me the story of Maya, how she was lost in the Vex network, split into hundreds of copies, until the powers of the Echo brought her to life. The Conductor is one of those copies. Could be the first one, could be all of them smashed together. Maybe she does not even know herself. But Osiris is all Mayas are scientists. And we can see her thoughts in her experiments. We must find what she is trying to do. Failsafe has located pieces of tech to help you study the exobodies in Maya's laboratory. If we can learn what Maya is doing with those, maybe we can think of a way to stop her. Brains, not brawn, yes? <laughs> hmm. Not a statement I was expecting from Saint of all people. Good lord, I didn't realize how many ingrams I had. Oh, you again. Sure, get right now. I bring an invitation. It's not too late to accept. Everything I do is for the sake of a second golden age. I return to what we have all lost. Frog. Good frog. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, whoops. In the last sector, perdition. Okay. I'm gonna assume my accidentally bugged up for petting the frog. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Don't care. Where are we going again? Oh yeah, Europa. Was it perdition? All right. Let's see. 
What do we need to look for exactly? I might not surprise we're heading back to Europa. The conductor has that pile of exo frames down in her lab. She was using them to host consciousnesses. I've been trying to figure out why, and then it hit me. Inconclusive. I need control data from other exos, and Europa's a great place to find some. They were there before. This is good data. Yeah, I think I can almost decrypt another one of the conductor's exos. All I need now is a cerebral host matrix. One of the classic brain models. Could you help me out, Captain? That sounds easy enough.
Bugs or signs. Sandoresh's use of the exoconsciousnesses within the Vexnet. The conductor seeks to assimilate all of Sol under her command. Oh, she good. desires a golden age. What in the But world? what does she really mean? With her methods, uh, I do not assume benevolence. All I know is that it would undo everything we have accomplished since the collapse. We cannot allow this. Hello. Curious if something should be down here. Things, it seems like. Science now adding harpies really. Okay, 
Alright, nothing's changed in just gonna do it all y'all a favor and just skip ahead. Oh, looks like there's a change up. Fidelity test. Uh -huh. How did I make you cry on our wedding night? Okay. Maya? Maya? Where are we? How? We're alive. Mm, How did I make you cry on our wedding night? Uh, you didn't. I made you cry. Because I called you Sunrise. Surreal Day. Because your mother called you that. Because it reminded you she was gone. That she missed the happiest day of your life. And, and I touched your cheek. And I told you there's always another sunrise. Even after we see it set. The gaussing exomind. Sentimentality is higher than expected variance. Sanderest. She is bringing copies of her wife, Chioma Essie, out of the Vexnet. Finding them, interrogating them, and discarding them. For her golden age? No. No, perhaps what would be her own personal golden age. The wife she remembers. The one from her own simulation. And Maya will destroy Sol to find her. Oh. Caretaker. We face the same threat as before, and I do not believe it will be the last. Yeah, no, I'm about to. Mm hmm. 
Okay, he did not know the back of that. He's gonna hop.
This is stupid. But funny at the same time. Never mind. Sandoresh convinced herself that she could never have loved this Geoma at all. Not this one. And not the others. This Geoma loved Maya. We heard it. I am sorry for doubting. For believing the Conductor for even one moment. I am so sorry, Osiris. Now, Saint, don't apologize. You, you were forgiven from the first. Mm -hmm. Guardian, I can now confirm. Every exoframe in Maya's lab once held the consciousness of Maya's wife, Chioma Essie. Each a, a different version, Oof. pulled from the Vex network. Uploaded, judged, found wanting, and eliminated. Oh. Guardian, there are details about Maya Sandres I kept from Saint. He did not need to know the cruelty of the hands that touched his mind, or how much they reminded me of my own. But today, I saw a reflection of myself had I lost my way. If I never found Saint and instead wrapped myself in obsession, I thought myself heroic in my search. A romantic, and that I was justified by my success. But what if I had not realized my good fortune? If I had met Saint, not with relief, but with skepticism, to imagine myself finding Saint, deciding he is wrong, killing him, and then starting again, would have broken me. And I believe it has broken Maya. One capable of such horror has defiled the concept Ooh, of love. Boy. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Saint. So Zara sees himself in that. Ooh. All right. What's the message this time for this week? Guardian, we have managed to decrypt another personal log taken from Maya Sandoresh's domain. At first, we discovered the method of her search, but. We were mistaken as to what she was looking for. Now we understand. Here, listen. Maya Santos. Personal log. In 
incidental. The variances have been outside of acceptable bounds on each attempt. Incomplete or divergent memories, outsized or diminished emotional responses. These forgeries are not my chill. Oh, the memories are baseline. There are other timelines that mirror this one so closely that my interrogation would not, by itself, yield my tumor. They all loved me. They all remembered the name of our daughter. That isn't the point. My tumor would understand what I'm doing here. All she needs to do is look at the state of soul since our time on New Mona. The mistake of the collapse. Clovis' hubris. <laughs> the revelation of the witness. My Chioma would see me as a savior and that she and I have a chance to rescue humanity from itself. Do you see? She's a Pygmalion carving her love from the Vex, too obsessed with her sculpture's perfection to see that the flaws lie within herself. She doesn't remember Chioma. Mm. No more than she remembers the Golden Age. Their memories clouded by ego and need far removed from the real. Chioma will die a thousand deaths before Maya realizes her love is conditional. But perhaps we can find her finality. real Chioma. Yeah. She that was can a horrible convince joke. Maya of her error. Boy, that took like some sci fi horror. And <laughs> mess to Jesus. And that whole message was giving me the creeps. It definitely was giving me, like, I don't know the best way to describe it. Maybe I watched too many enemies and such other medias where I'm like, why does this sound familiar? <laughs> this whole situation sounds familiar. But either way, I hope you all like, comment, and subscribe. Can we pet the frog? Well, let's go. Remember to wear gloves when touching Captain Jacobson. His toxin excretions are necrotizing. Noted. The frog has been petted. Bye.